I was excited to make a video today. And it's kind of weird, you know, to put, to just scream into the void, to put videos on YouTube that no one's watching or probably going to watch. But it's okay. Like, I've kind of done a version of this before. In a former life, I was a power lifter. I guess I still dabble. Um, just not really training right now. I'm Operation eBay currently. But um, I posted on Instagram all of my training. You know, there were times when I would get, like, existential about why does somebody want to watch me bench press three and four times a week um or whatever and they did they did and they didn't it didn't it started out slow and and I made a lot of friends that way and it also held me accountable like there's nobody on the internet that's gonna say you know oh you didn't do what you were supposed to do today nobody would know my program then nobody knows if I screwed off today or you know, didn't do whatever I needed to do. But I feel like if I come on here and talk to the video, I can't lie. You know, you can kind of lie to yourself, but... So, all that aside, yelling into the void continues with my sales from the last 24 hours, which is five things, which is good for me. And uh, the first one being the best uh, and the only sale on Poshmark. A bridal slip for a ball gown. It is uh, 16. Um, and everyone at the bins hates this stuff, and I love it. It weighs like nothing. Um, so it was basically maybe $2. And they paid $42. And I made $38 on it on Poshmark. And because it's Poshmark too, I just can put it in a large priority thing. I don't need to worry about all that. So I am thrilled. The next thing is also bins. Uh, both of these things people threw back over and over. Like nobody even would touch that. And this I saw in hands and getting thrown and it's an equestrian vintage like ladies chore jacket um this is the tag just it looks old i don't know no no special brand um this i took an offer for 30 i had it up for 39 and like i've said before i send a 15 percent out all the time so i kind of you know factor that in in my head um these i've had for a long time these i think i paid too much for at the um, rescue thrift. But they're Skechers, um, kind of platformy, uh, whatever. I think I, 12 bucks, maybe. I had them listed way too high. Finally put them down and then someone offered them and I was thrilled. Next one is Bin's Shoes, Vionix. This is a good brand, which I have sold in my five months, probably at least half a dozen times from the bins and these are i i put black shoe polish stuff on them and kind of judged them up a little bit but they're still not great they're still old so i didn't want to list them high i would these kind of shoes i would rather just make a couple bucks and move on um so i think i 12 or 15 i don't know Maybe I should remember all this stuff, but it doesn't really matter that much. It was a big, it was a lower offer. I don't care. They're sold. They're going out today. Um, hopefully they don't get returns because whatever. The last thing I got from the church thrift shop, which I cannot look at my phone in the church thrift shop. It's in the basement. It's only open for three hours a week. And... Um, I don't know. I just feel totally weird on my phone in there. I will whip out my phone and look stuff up anywhere else, but <sighs> so it's all gut in there. And these were maybe vintage. I don't know. So other people had them listed as vintage. They are Fusai, F-U-S-A-I. 
jeans, missing a button, but this is the main picture I have with a zipper and stuff. So, um, that was a good sale. Also took an offer because comps weren't great and sell through was shit. So I thought it's summer. Jeans aren't going to sell too much. Take the money and run. So that's my five things. And my story about, um, yelling into the void. I have to make it to the post office and go pick up some prizes. I am going to have a male and a female mannequin, which I scored for a ridiculously low price. It is about $40 for both of them. And I don't know what they're, maybe they're going to be girls or tiny or who knows. Um, but while I'm over on that side of town, I'm going to hit the bins for an hour. I don't want to, I am tired. I don't want to spend a whole yada yada thing at the bins. And like, I'm always saying I'm not hurting for inventory. I just always think, it's the FOMO. Maybe the most wonderful thing is is waiting for me at the bins today. What, or some more slips. Some more slips. Some That kind of stuff I'd be thrilled with. Can you see him? Ernest and Frank. Oh, Ernest and Francine. I'm so tired. I was gonna be at the bins for, an, I don't know how long I was there. Not that long, but I'm tired. I did okay, I got my 25 pounds and then I got a bunch of hats and oh, I think I'll show you tomorrow because I'm completely pooped. There was a lot of like the, the loud talking, yelling babies and stuff going on and I think I get overstimulated. I think I should wear headphones. I like talking to people and, and that kind of stuff, but I think sometimes I just, it's a lot. Um, I didn't go with anything crazy. I got, I didn't do a whole lot of looking up while I did know I threw it back. Uh, I mean, I looked up some stuff and I got a pair of Timberland work boots that'll pay for the whole trip, so. It was good. It was good there. It's a little bit of annoying people there today, I think. Or maybe I'm just in a bad mood. Did I say I was in a bad mood yesterday too? 